Colby, Kansas. We stopped at Oasis on the Plains. This truck stop has a Starbucks and you know the wife needs Starbucks. Also in Colby we stopped at this Walmart and loaded up on groceries. Once we were done with Colby we did a quick jog down I-70 and went to Oakley, Kansas where we stayed at a fairground. We were meeting up with my brother and his family to grill some hamburgers and hang out for a little bit. Doing so good. Oh, <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, you okay? That was a, that was a good Nail. sit. You know she leaned her bum into him. Uh oh. Okay. Huh. Sorry, Landon. We have all our stuff. We haven't. I got. We went grocery shopping. I'm slowly putting things away, but. Hi. Hi. This is more exciting than Eddie. Eddie's pretty slow. Uh -oh.
dropped off horses. We came out here to this TA and ended up fueling and they have a free dump station and they also have a blue beacon. This is a place we like to stop a lot on this drive. It's a it's a really good stop. Highly suggest um, stopping here if, if you get the opportunity. here in our home base Manhattan we spent about two weeks here getting ready for the nationals and training dogs and doing all the things to the trailer I did like a thousand projects it seems like but uh we're loading up we're heading to Kansas City we're gonna try to stay at a Cabela's um, which is now Bass Pro technically um, hopefully they have horse stalls we're pretty sure they do Fingers crossed they really do. So um, we're heading there early. We're going to get set up and uh, we'll see you guys in Kansas City. Hey guys, we made it to Bass Pro and they do have a horse pin. It's pretty small, um, but uh, we got everyone tied to the fence so they don't bother each other and uh yeah it's pretty uh pretty nice horse pen and uh over here they got some dog kennels that we are totally taking full advantage of uh, across the street is nebraska furniture mart and down there is Legends, and you got the Kansas Speedway over there. But yeah, pretty nice, uh, pretty nice overnight stop here at Bass Pro. And the nice thing is, it has horse and dog kennels. It has a horse and dog area, so uh, really nice for us. Uh, no power, but there is water, so that's a nice benefit. Overall, the trip was pretty good um, and keeping an eye on that tire that always pops back there uh, it still got the hottest of all the temperatures but it only got to 108 so that's not like a, a worrisome temperature to me Alright guys, that's going to do it for today's video. We finally made it to Grove Springs where we're going to compete in the Red Setter Championships. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, please do me a favor by going down and subscribing, uh, helping the channel out. And I will see you guys on the next Redbeard Outdoors episode. Remember, get outdoors and keep trucking. I'll catch you guys on the next episode.